Did you know that besides the switches, there's a huge indicator on how fast your keyboard actually is? In today's video, I'm going to show you a brand new program with which you can measure literally the speed of your keyboard and it's super easy and simple. I'm gonna show everything, explain exactly the differences between a slower and a faster keyboard and how it affects your gaming experience. And also, of course, afterwards, a full-on tutorial how to measure the speed of your current gaming keyboard. And if you guys enjoyed this content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. Without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. Just let me explain real quick what I mean by that, guys. Here in front of me, I first of all have my custom keyboard, which is super, super nice, you know, and it has some really high quality components. On the other side here, we have the GK61, which is one of the fastest keyboards, but of course for $60, you can't expect like the most high quality components, you know, like the PCB and all that stuff is really basic, not really on the top notch. So therefore guys, this keyboard has 100% 1000 megahertz pulling rate, which makes it really responsive, you know? But on the other hand, we have here the GK61, which has a 125 megahertz pulling rate, up to 250, really depending which model you get. And I gotta say, in the first place, this might not make a huge difference, but especially for consistent tabbing between switches, this will make a difference. Like you can realize that um, in Fortnite itself, I mean, it's still kind of okay because the switches are really fast. This kind of compensates the lower amount of megahertz polling rate. But I gotta say, um, if you actually want like the most responsive keyboard, it would make theoretically most sense to go here for my custom build and put those yellow switches over there to get like maximum speed, if you know what I'm guys saying. And yeah guys, the program I want to talk about in today's video is actually called Keyboard Inspector and you can get it straight up from my Discord, of course guys. And pretty much what this program does is, it has some data about different types of keyboards with like 125 megahertz pulling rate, 500, 2000, and it will pretty much compare your current keyboard speed with those data to give you like sort of an output if a keyboard is at least 1000 megahertz, 500, 125, and it works pretty well. Let's just say we're gonna go here actually on to start recording, and now we're just gonna press here two keys. We're gonna press W and E just for a few seconds. Then we're gonna press the space bar. And now we're gonna see here our output. And once we actually click on the pulling rate and analyze, we can see this keyboard is definitely running at a thousand hertz at least. This is the booting to HE, super high quality fast keyboard. So of course it's gonna run at 1000 hertz. But what actually happens if we're gonna try out here my custom keyboard, guys? We're just gonna spam me again W and E, just for a few seconds, you know, to get all the data. Now we're gonna press here um, our space bar, go into analyze, and we can see definitely 1000 hertz as well. Of course, both of these keyboards are super high quality, so therefore it shouldn't be like any issue to measure them correctly. But what if we go down with the quality a little bit slightly, you know, and we actually take here this Pulsar keyboard, which is around 130 euros, which is still super expensive for a keyboard, but you know, it's not up there in this like higher segment. We're just gonna try it out here actually itself. Click onto recording. If, by the way here, I think black switches in there. And we're just gonna keep spamming here for a little bit. Press again here our spacebar, pulling rate. And we can see even this keyboard is running at a thousand hertz, which is actually really good. And now we actually get more into the budget sector of my keyboards here. This one is around like 80 euros, I think it is, guys. It is like a fully hot swappable, 10 keyless mechanical keyboard with Gatron Blue switches. And we just can try it out here again. We're gonna spam here W and E, guys, you know, just again for a few seconds, trying to get those data. Press the spacebar, click on the pulling rate, and we can see even this one is running at a thousand hertz. And now we're just gonna go guys for one of the cheapest keyboards I have here in my collection, which is the GK61 with Gatron optical yellow switches. And we're gonna click on to record and see what happens. Now we just did the test here guys, actually on the GK61 itself, and we can already see, not sure, maybe 1000 hertz. And this has a very specific reason, guys. As mentioned, the components in the GK61 are not as high quality. Therefore, this program can't really give you like an exact measurement. Since we have some quite noticeable delay actually due to the components, as mentioned, the switches are insanely fast. The PCB isn't the worst, but it is definitely more on the budget-friendly side. So therefore, this program can tell us exactly 100%. But we're gonna go down even one more time, guys. We are finally going to utilize the cheapest keyboard I have here actually in my inventory, guys. This only costed me, I think, eight euros on Amazon, which is around like nine to ten dollars. And we're just gonna try it out and see if the program can still measure it. Oh my god, bro. What is this sound? So, and now we're gonna click on the polling rate, analyze, and we can see definitely 125 hertz. So therefore, this program is actually really precise because there is no way that the keyboard this cheap, I mean guys, I can literally like lift it with one finger if I want, yeah? 
There's no way that a keyboard this cheap will run 1000 Hertz, so therefore this is actually really precise. And what we can pretty much tell from this is guys, that if we actually spend a little bit more money on our keyboards, even though if it's like a budget friendly custom keyboard, this will still give us a more responsive pulling rate than actually just straight up going for the budget model itself. Because this is a GK61X, which is still theoretically a GK61, but the upgraded version which you can fully customize itself and this is like the ultra budget version. They both still can pull around 1000 megahertz, but this one will guarantee you a 100% stable 1000 megahertz pulling rate. And this one is kind of hard to measure, you know, it's not always fully there guys. So therefore even the program itself had to struggle with actually measuring this keyboard. Please let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below and also comment down below how much megahertz your current keyboard actually has. And yeah guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace. Diamond Gucci